Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to more PGA Tour 2K21. And it's that time of year again. We have the World Cup of Design by T over at TGC Tours. And the publishing window opened yesterday, the day before, and we've already had four courses drop. And we're going to kick it off with Sussex Downs. And this is by a Digital Bunny. So let's have a look what we have here. Okay, again, I always play everything on default. I don't change anything. So the fairways are firm, the greens are firm, green speeds medium fast, time of day is afternoon, and it is overcast. We're going to go off the gold tees, 6,631 yards. Ooh, that seems a bit short, but we shall see. Okay, uh, let's get into it. Now, World Cup design, or oh, over at TGC Tours, it, <laughs> some of the, the, the best designers in the game all come together for this, for this competition. And if you've seen any of the videos from last year's um, competition, wow. There's going to be some beautiful courses out there. Wow, look at this. Now, what he says here, there's a little write-up. Uh, where are we? Right. So I grew up playing a lot of download, uh, downland courses in the southeast of England. This inspired Sussex Downs. Lovely bit of plant he's got there. I always enjoyed playing these courses as they generally feature big elevation changes, high winds and unique greens. Most downland courses have remained largely unchanged since construction in the early 20th century. These courses tend to the public, inexpensive, tend to be public, excuse me, inexpensive and quirky. I thought that this style of course would be a great fit for me to design. Uh, as if it isn't quirky and a little silly in places, then you probably haven't captured the uh, downlands golf. Sussex Downs hopefully captures the downland vibe with some huge elevation changes, green cuts into hills, and very modest clubhouse. Now, there's a little par 3 that I used to play. Uh, it was over by a, a big reservoir we've got uh, down here. Can't remember the name of it. And it's very similar to this. It really is. It's like on the side of a hillside with massive elevation changes and there was one day we went to play it and the green keeper just took the piss <laughs> he really did let's say this green here like you can just see the slope here he had the pin set right there right at the top of the slope and i must have i don't know six seven putted kept putting up to the, the bloody hole and it kept rolling all the way back down put past the hole and then when I went put to the hole it'd go past the hole with a mist and it'd go all the way down the other bloody side and the green keeper must have been sitting <laughs> in his little hut with his binoculars there, <laughs> laughing his freaking head off us on this while I was raging I was like how the hell could somebody set up a hole like that I always remember it. and I tell you what he has absolutely captured sort of English countryside look to this. It looks absolutely fantastic. As I said, that little par 3 that I've played, very much like this on the side of a sort of hill. Massive elevation changes and there's one of the holes. You just sort of come off one hole, went to the next tee, and you look down you can see all the way down the hill and right over, over the reservoir. Beautiful, beautiful little nine hole course it was. So this is his modest clubhouse here. We're going to get to the clubhouse, then we're going to go up into the sort of blimp and we'll have a look at the, the plot that we're on. And that light as well. Bloody hell. Wow. Glad I've got my good ass sunglasses on. <laughs> now you see the, the lowlands over there, you've got that mist and fog as well. You've got all these little bushes just sort of separating the fairways. The little dirt track there as well. And look over there, you've got the ploughed fields, farmlands down there as well. Yeah, he's done a cracking job. So let's just get back down on the course. We'll just have a quick look around. Just to sort of see. I mean, if you just tell just by looking at his plant, the plant looks absolutely fantastic. Looks really, really nice. Can't wait to play this. That lighting could be a bit polarising for some people though. I mean, it's fine, sort of there. 
I just hope none of the holes actually turn right into it because that bloody blind you that. But it does give that sort of, I don't know, really early morning dew on the grass type of vibe to it. I mean, I probably told you this a few times where I used to work, we used to finish at um, 20 to 5 in the morning on a Saturday morning. And what we'd do, we'd go home, have a shower, grab our clubs, and straight out onto the golf course by about, I don't know, half five in the morning. That was before the greenkeeper and all that got there. And they actually left, they left the gate open. Uh, we'd, we'd go in and play. Then when we come in at the end of the round, we'd pay for our round. Absolutely beautiful first thing in the morning. Look at that. The whole godry's coming through the trees there as well. Yeah, look at that. Oh, ho, ho. And look at that, and bushes there as well. It looks like the mist. All that planting up on the hillside there. Very nicely done. i tell you what, there was one day we were playing. I think it was only the second or third hole we got to, and I just heard this squeal. And I was like, what the hell is that? And we looked down the fairway, and there was this little rabbit just running across the fairway, squealing its head off, and there was this like stoat. Uh, over here, we've got, the, we've got stoats and weasels. Similar to a ferret, if you're, I'm not sure if you get stokes and weasels over in the States or whatever. But if you're over in the UK, you know what I'm on about. This stoke just chasing this little rabbit and the poor little thing was squealing its head off. <laughs> I think it got it as well because uh, as soon as it sort of went into the bushes, it, the stoke was like right behind it, a couple of feet away. And it just stopped. So I think he ended up getting it. Right, let's see, have a look over here. Enough of my little stories. I do like the the way he's got these bushes sort of separating the fairways and that. Yep, he has really, really captured this sort of, as he calls it, downland courses. Beautiful. Right, let's go to the first tee. Let's get this started. And look at the elevation change already. 99 feet down. Ooh, this could be tough on master settings. Okay, we should be able to clear right over the top of here. Oh, big fast. Oh, crap. Again, massive downhill. And that is right in a crapper. Look at that. Okay, 72 to 79%. Um, 67, 13 down. So it's playing around about 63. Well, I think we should be good there. Okay, we've got perfect. Oh, absolute spot on. That was not bad at all. So we might even still come away with a birdie here. Oh shit. Oh. Didn't mean to say that. Sorry. <laughs> excuse me. What I meant to do was take the bloody flag out. That's my excuse anyway. That put me off. Why is the flag in? I usually haven't turned up. I know why it is. I was playing the society match. And you know my site is on pro settings. I've switched it over to master. But it's changed a couple of the settings. Damn it. Didn't usually do that though. Okay, 133. Three up. So it's playing 134. We're going in with a pitching wedge. 10 mile an hour when coming from the left hand side. That's a beautiful looking little par 3 though. Okay, slight fast, so it's going to be left of the pin and long. Oh, it might actually come back a bit. It's a little slope there. Yeah, I'll try and get quite a few of these done. As I said, there's, I think there's four dropped already. You've got this one, Heisenberg's, and um, who else? Oh, can't remember now. I was having a quick look on the forums. Let me take that flag out. Uh oh, I've missed that. I've got... <sighs> pacey, pacey, pacey. That should have been a birdie. That's two birdies I've missed. Two easy putts and I've missed them. Okay, right. I'm going to stick with the three wood here. Another 
rather fast. I'm just going to pull it way over to the left and we're going to be in the thick stuff again. Okay, looks like I'm going to be scrambling for a lot of pars today. Oh, look at this green. As you said, cut right into the hillside sort of thing there. Right, 135, 17 up, so it's playing around about 141. Let's go up another club. For a while, maybe you can go up another one. 166. Yep, let's go with that. Okay, slight fast again. Should be on a green, but there's a big, like that slope there. Just kind of sure it's going to come back off. Yep, there we go. And back on the green. Nice one. Alright, let's take that blooming flag out. Oh, it's missed, is it? Oh, we got it. Nice one. Buddy. That looked weird there. 3D grass has gone again, look. That's strange. I was just playing not that long ago and it was, it was fine. I don't know if the designers have a choice to turn it off or not. Oh, slight fast, just off the, the kidness bar there. That's going to kick off that hillside though, I think. Come on, keep going, keep going. Oh, not bad. Wow, that's a massive slope. Okay, stop now. A little pitch up. Okay, 28, 8 up, so it's playing around about 31. Yeah, let's go about there. Oh, yep, that's a fast again. And that's going off the other side. So we've got a little chip in here. Can we get it? Come on. Nope. Another fast switch again pulls it to the left. Oh, come on. Oh, get in. Nice one. Nice save. Yeah, I mean, if you're new to the channel, um, have a look back on some of my older videos. Uh, the World Cup of Design from last year, and you'll see absolutely some fantastic courses. Oof, I'm going to have to slow that right down. That's a massive uphill elevation there. Let me just mute my mic while I have a little drink. Yeah, I'm eating the mic. Oh no, have a little drink. And the mic's only, I don't know, six inches to a foot away from my face, so... Yeah, it might be, let me <laughs> go up and a drink down. Okay, 178, 24 up, so that's playing around about 186-ish. 76 to 6 iron. Yeah, you know well that should be okay, I reckon. He's going to get a bear run on the green. Oh, nice, good, perfect. Oh, that wind's bloody strong. Oh, that's pushing it well past right of the pin. Oh, that turned out okay, though. Nice little bounce. Yep, going to have to go into the settings and turn that pin off. That's annoying me. Okay, two birdies, not too bad. It should have been four birdies, because we screwed up them two putts. Okay, as you see, I'm back up to 290 odd from my driver now. And I've changed my woods, changed my irons, changed my wedges. I'm up into the next sort of tier of the tireless gear. Oh, plum neck. Let's see, that's the problem with that kind of lighting. If you look, oops. The way I had it there, if I look back in the camera, kind of blinding, but it does give a nice effect off on some sort of holes when you look to it and you see all that mist. OK, 
Okay, 49, 15 are down. So that is playing about 44. We've got that wind there. Ooh, let me see. Oh, yep. Yeah. Pitch, pitch, pitch. Good pitch. Let's bring it all the way back to about there. Oh, blooming heck. Felt that one straight away. But I'll tell you what, <laughs> that actually worked out okay. Nice little bounce off the fringe there. And pick up a, another birdie, I think. Yep, there we go. Three under. Okay, par three. I do like these sort of square greens it is made. A bit different. K176, okay, 12 down. That's playing 72. 157. Ooh, it's gonna be dodgy. Okay, slight fast. Is, that, is it gonna hit the green? I hope so. Just. That was kind of hoping it wasn't going to go more left there and go down that sort of hill there. Okay, let's have a check. Ooh, 16 inches down. Wow. Okay. Let's just get this close and hopefully pick up the part. I think it's going to turn just a little bit too much, but it should hold. Come on, stop, stop, stop. Oof, 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 we're going past quite a bit. Uh oh. Pacey, pacey. So we're going to drop a shot here. That's all down there. Silly putton. A couple of massive putton mistakes I've made already. Okay, we can either go to this side. Kind of gives you a better angle into the green that side. Go here, you're sort of coming over that little slopey bit at the front of the green. You might get a bad bounce off that actually. So I think I might just come down this left hand side here. All right, let's try and not hit fast this time. Oh, and we hit another fast. <laughs> oh, 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 it's into the thick stuff again. Right, I'm going to have to slow that swing right down. Okay, 88 to 87. Uh, let's go up two clubs. That should do, I think. Yeah, I reckon so. That wind's dropped right down though, isn't it? Okay, nice. We're perfect. Well, that's not bad. On the green, a little bit far though. It's going to lose quite a massive putt. Okay, right. Double break. I've gone right to left and left to right. I think... Just put it about there, I reckon. Oh, that was close, but not close enough. And we'll pick up the par. Okay, so it's our run two on minus two. That's not too bad. We've got a little marker there. Did you see that? The sort of blind t shirt. Little pole there. I've seen a few of them on the little bridge courses. Oh, let me try to slow it down because I'm hitting fast. I hope that's a slow bit. Looks slopey. Come on, kick off, kick off. No. It was a course I played, and my brother, very good player, really, really low. I think he's almost a scratch player. Uh, he's 
member of a private course, a bit snobby. And one of the holes on their course, it's like a massive, well, I wouldn't say massive, but it's a big puff hole and it's a massive dog leg. It's almost like a right angle. And you can actually cut the corner over the top of the trees. But you can't see people when they're taking the second shot. So there's actually a bell um, just off the fairway. So after you take the second shot, you, you ring the bell just to let the people behind you know that it's clear. Okay, three words. Yep, gonna go with the three words here. I have to aim a little bit over to the, the right though, I think. Okay, that's not bad, just off perfect. It's going to be right in the middle of the fairway. It's going to run down quite a bit as well. Tell you what, that is not bad at all. That ran quite a bit. 200 and, oh, 240, yep. Okay, I'll only use 135 to the pin. So that is actually playing 125, 122, 121-ish. But then we've got the wind as well, so let's bring it back to about there. But, doesn't matter if you don't hit it perfect. <laughs> it's going to be off, it's either going to be long or it's going to be short. Okay, it's going to lose another sort of tricky putt here. Oh, got one feet down. Yeah. It's going to turn in now. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Ooh. Oh, that's trickling off. Didn't think it would go that far. All right, come on. Get in. Oh, you son of a... Another bogey. You know why I haven't even looked at what the green speeds are. <laughs> you could use a judge anyway. Fast. Haven't really judged it so far. Seem to be just overshooting the hole a little bit. Okay, I hope that's going to come right down in this sort of flash area down here, not leave us too much of a slope left to right. A little bit of a slope, not too bad. 125, 29 up, so playing run about 135. Let's go with that. I think the slope's going to be stronger than the three mile an hour wind. Oh, damn it. But we hit fast. Oh, and that is just off the green. Go on, get in there. You little beauty. Deserves a little drink. Yeah, it usually shows you replays and that when you do chip-ins and things, but uh, while I'm trying to unlock stuff on the season pass, I turn all that off, all the preset animations and all that stuff, so I can just hammer right through it. I could probably do about 18 holes in probably about 20 minutes, just smashing right through them. Oh, come on. And if you are, if you have got the season pass too, what you want to do is if you play on Master Sense, just drop it down to Pro Sense. Uh, go on to a career mode and just do a full career mode. And just batter through it. The amount of points you get on career mode for unlocking stuff is insane. It makes it so much easier. Okay, slight slope. I'm kind of hoping there's a little slope there. Yep, there it goes. Uh oh, no, this went too far actually. Okay, another little chip. Go on. Yes, get in there. That's two chippings. Let's 
Pity about them two bogeys though, and it's pity about them those two first holes as well for the pun. It's a nice looking hole. There we go, that's better. Just slightly off perfect. Okay, 295 uphill for the second shot. We've got 33 up, so that's playing right about 93. 91 going with a pitch. Okay, slight fast again. That should hold up nicely, and hopefully, it might pick up. Oh, it's going to be a downhiller. Five inches down. All right, come on. All right, just a little tap. A little tappy tap tap. There we go. Now we pick up another birdie. Three birdies on the bounce, two chippings as well. Okay, 125, 29 down, so it's playing around about 115. Let's go down to one. Yeah, tell you what, that should be okay, you know, with that wind. Oh, we get the perfect. Come on, you little beauty, get in there. Nice. Oh, 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 come on, stop. Little slope there. I didn't want to hit that. Damn it. That was so close to being a really nice shot. I tell you what, that's a great view. The little house down there on the left. That sort of hazy sunshine as well. Right, come on. Oh, that's looking short. It is. Damn it. So it's going to get par. That was not a bad putt as well, it was right on target. Okay, what have we got? Just try and hit a nice one here, come on. Oh, sugar. In the thick stuff. Well, not that thick. <laughs> right, oh, look at that, 69%. Wow. I think we've just hit the three hybrid then. Okay, we get the perfect. Yeah, there you go. Look how bright that is when you look back up the fairway. Okay, 163. Not a lot of distance out of that. Rough. Okay, let's bring that back just a touch. Okay, nice perfect as well. Ooh, a little bit short, that wind sort of held it up a bit. Nice. Now, was that a par or a birdie? It was a par. Nice par save. Okay, par five. Let's hit a nice one. Oh, that's not bad. Just off perfect. Just slight in the slow, but I did hit 102%. So it shouldn't actually drop hardly any. That's a nice distance as well. 349 yard drive. So we should reach this green in two. Three wood. Tell you what, let's bring it in from the, the left here. Oh crap, that's a fast again. Oh, that's going to bounce though. That is going to come off that side hill. Go on. Oh, little beauty. Okay, we're on in two. Oh, but is that going to stop? Come on. Now let's try, just try and get this close. Ooh, pretty tough putt though. 28, five inches up. Just take that pin out. Oh, it's not going. Oh, that was way off. 
distance wasn't too bad. But again, we'll just tap that in and take the birdie. Nice one. Yeah, as I go through these guys, um, write down your predictions, what you think is going to, you know, it's going to win. It'll be interesting to see other people's sort of opinions against the, the sort of judges, if you know what I mean. I don't know who's actually judging. I think it's Mayday. He's a very good designer himself. Okay, I think I might just go with a normal shot here instead of a pitch. And 20. Playing 15 up, so it's playing around about 121 with that wind. Let's bring it back just a touch. <sighs> Slight slope. It's going to push it over to the right. I think that's going to miss the green. Oh no, it's just held the green. Uh oh, no, it's not. Come on. Pitch mark's going to stop it. <laughs> oh, that's a tough, tough putt, that one. Oh, I've hit that too short. Damn it. I can tell straight away what I've done as well. Okay, that's a par, so it's not too bad. Oh. Now, did I move that enough to the right? No, I didn't. We have a kick off the hill, but it's not going to make it. I'm going to thick stuff again. Okay. Oh, 69 to 76. Wow. Tell you what, I'm going to go up three clubs here. Slight slow, but we're going to be on the green. Yes, nice. Nice distance on that as well. First, the pin high. If it didn't hit a slope, it would have been a little bit more to the left. And that has left as a dodgy putt again. I'll tell you what, I'm going to leave a pin in this time so I can see where I'm aiming. Yeah, let's try about there, I reckon. 26, 3 inches up. Let's take a pin out now, though. Oh, bum neck, I'm way off with these ones. drop a shot. I tried to hit that a little bit harder, I just take some of that break out. Not good. That oh, minus four. Okay, 18th. Wow, right. 65 up. Oh, look at this. 272, 73 up. So that's playing 290. About 295. Got the wind against us as well. I'm just going to smash the driver up here. Slight fast. Is it going to hit the green? It's hitting the green. Going right at the back. And I'm going to be chipping on. Oh, come on, come on. Kind of hoping, I was going to say, I'm kind of hoping this doesn't go in. Uh oh, I've hit the bloody slope. You eat it. <laughs> oh, why did I do that? I should have took my time, looked at the green, and laid it up short. That's a beautiful view back down the fairway there, though. Right, just give me one second, guys. Let me take a screenshot for the thumbnail. And I think I might do it back the way. Because that looked pretty nice looking down the fairway there. Right, let's have a look. Yeah, maybe about that. It's the only thing as well when you do the thumb there. You get that kind of lighting. It's hard to get the letters to show. So you either try to get the light in that side or that side. So the middle is still sort of free. Let's play, let's play it over here. From the top of the hill. Nope. Let's go down. Yep. It's got to be about there I reckon. What I'll do is I'll put the 
the writing on the left hand side. So that does look nice like that. Yep, there we go. Right. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> okay. Right, well, we've got 33 feet and one foot up. Is it? Oof, so it's bloody more than that. 17 inches up. Okay, right. Oh, come on, let's get this close. Oh, blow my neck. Way short. Right, come on, get the par here. Get in. Nice one. There we go. So, there you go, guys. That is Sussex Downs by a digital bunny and that kicks off our playthroughs for the world cup design held over at tgc tours again i'll put a link down in the description for the forum posts and things like that give it a play head over to tgc tours and tell what you think of the course oh there you go we've unlocked <coughs> excuse me another new item looks like a hybrid actually i think yeah definitely um if you want to unlock this stuff quick, just batter your way through a career mode and you will unlock it so quick. I was unlocking two or three at a time if I win one of my career modes. Again, if you play on Master, drop it down to Pro. If you play on Pro, drop it down to Pro-Am and just batter your way through it. Just hit everything fast and you will unlock things so fast. So okay guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you again next time. And don't forget, stay safe.